Hey guys, this is Ryan with Mom on Mission. And if you are new here, I am a Christ following, book loving wife and homeschool mom to three boys. So follow me and subscribe if you um, want to see videos on homeschool, biblical womanhood, and books. So today I'm going to bring you our end of the year recap, kind of a fourth quarter update. Uh, we've officially finished all of our books. Um, all of our textbooks. We are year-round homeschoolers, so that's why um, we went almost to the month of July um, with our books, and we will hold off starting new ones um, until late August, probably. I don't know. I don't have a set start, start date yet, um, but I'm going to just kind of recap how our year ended up, um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you each of the pieces that we used for our curriculum and let you know what we thought about it. Um, if I already have a video about any of these specific pieces, I will put it in the iCard up above. Um, if there's any piece that you see here that you would like more information about that I maybe haven't done a video about before, um, or if you have specific questions, please let me know down below, and I would love to answer them or maybe even do um, a more in-depth walkthrough um, on any of these pieces of curriculum. So for math, both of my kiddos used Saxon this past year. That's all we've ever used. So I had a first grader. So we did math one with Saxon and we did math three with my third grader. Um, so yet again, Saxon did not disappoint us. I know a lot of people hate Saxon and that's fine, but we love it. Um, we modify it. So Kindergarten was great. My first year using it, I loved it. I did every single thing that they asked me to. After that, I started modifying and modifying and modifying. And now I think I finally have kind of my groove down on how we like to use Saxon. And so I've done a video about that that'll link up there. Um, but once I figured out how to make it not take two hours, <laughs> um, we love Saxon. And it can be dry and it can be draining if, um, you do it exactly to the book, but we don't. So I encourage you with any curriculum that you have that if you feel like it's just, you like what they're doing, but it's just too much, like tweak it. You don't have to do every single problem. It's okay. So um, we love Saxon. It's a spiral approach. So you keep revisiting concepts um, so that you don't lose them. And we love it. And I um, will be using it next year. So. For history, we did history um, with both of my boys together. This year we did Story of the World, Volume 4. This is the activity book. I also have the um, actual text too. Um, again, I will um, show you more of that if you would like to see it. But um, we will not be using this next year. Um, and that is not because we don't like it. We just kind of want to change. Um, and so here is the text. We would read from the text or we would listen to the MP3 more often than not. And we would use the um, activity guide for questions about the reading and then for activities and maps and all of that goodness. So I enjoyed the content this year. It was um, the modern age. So from Victoria's empire to the end of the USSR. Um, it didn't go into 9-11 or anything like that because um, they don't consider that history. That They consider that still pretty current. And so um, they didn't go quite into that. But I loved the content of this. And I've always loved the content of Story of the World. Um, this is just our third year doing it. And I'm kind of burned out on it. Um, I'm not a huge... When I first started homeschooling, I thought I would be a great unit studies homeschool mom. I'm not. That takes a lot of planning and a lot of forethought and a lot of materials and a lot of energy and time and things that I don't have. Um, when I had just one student, um, I was more apt to do such things, but, and I know I only have two students right now, but I also have a toddler. And um, this 
Story of the World just takes a lot. It gives you all the ideas and all the materials. It tells you what you will need, um, it, but it still takes a lot of planning to check out all the right library books and to um, get all the right materials. And I just, I don't have time for that anymore. So um, we're not doing this next year, but it's not because we don't like the content. So that is what it is. Toward the end of the year, we actually stopped doing the map work. We were just reading it and then answering the questions. Um, and I still think we got some out of it, but we were just on major burnout with that. So um, I mentioned my other, um, what we're using for history next year. I did mention we will, because we've never done volume one of Story of the World, we are going to do volume one as a read aloud next year, but we will not be doing the questions or any of the activities to go with it. We're gonna be using something else for history next year. And we also did um, Galloping the Globe. And we did not go all the way through this. We're kind of just pacing ourselves, um, but we love this program. Um, it is very much do what you want. There's lots of activities, lots of book recommendations, um, but it's very easy to just pick out what you want and leave out the rest. So we do a lot of map work. We do a lot of YouTube videos. Um, we color the flag. We um, find literature written from or about that country. Um, we um, watch or read informational things about that country and it's just been a lot of fun for my boys. For science we did the Exploring Creation with Chemistry and Physics by Apologia. Our co-op was doing this, so this is what we did, and they did a lot of the exper experiments at co-op um, until stinking coronavirus came um, and ruined our lives. Just kidding. Um, but um, I really enjoyed this. Personally, I am not a chemistry fan. I just, I don't like it. It's, I'm, I don't know, that's just not the way my brain is wired. Um, but I really loved the second part of the year when we talked more on physics. I think that is more interesting, but my kids enjoyed all of it. Um, these were some of the more fun experiments that we've ever done because you got to do deal with chemical reactions and with um, kinetic energy, potential energy, um, simple machines, all of that. So that was a lot of fun um, to do that. And we also used the um, junior notebooking journal. We just got one and kind of worked through it together. Um, so we have lots of different little books that we made. That's like a simple machine book. So it's like a wheel, um, coloring pages, copy work, um, little thingy, whatever those are called. <laughs> um, and so Again, apologia for the win. We love it, especially when we have a co-op that does the experiments for us because mama doesn't like doing experiments. Um, let's see. So for my third grader for language arts, we had ooh, writing with, nope, just kidding. Writing with ease, level three. And this, toward the end of the year, got a little redundant. This is our third year using this, um, and it is a very solid program. I believe in their method. Um, they believe in doing a lot of copy work, a lot of dictation, a lot of narration separately. They say that those three things are different aspects of writing, and you need to learn them all separately, which I agree with. Um, because my students would frequently, I would ask them to write something and they were just like overwhelmed if I just say, think of a story and write it down. Um, and Susan Weisbauer will tell you that um, thinking of something to say is one skill, writing something down is another skill. Um, and so you have to kind of separate those things. And I love that they do that. However, um, it was the same type of thing every single week. Um, my son would even tell you, oh, I love Mondays because it's less writing. Or I love, you know, it's like they follow such a strict format that it does get kind of dry. I'm not going to lie. Unless your kid just loves writing, this eventually does get a little dry. But it doesn't take a ton of time either. So I don't know. I'm still torn on if we will stick with this for a fourth year. Um, I imagine we probably will, but I'm also kind of looking at IEW for next year. 
so I don't know. I know I said in my curriculum video that I would probably stick with this, but now I'm not so sure. So, um, but that being said, we finished the book. Um, it was fine. I enjoy, or I don't enjoy, I appreciate how they teach things because it does make sense and my kid is a better writer because of this program, but it's just dry. So I don't know. We're, we're still talking about that for next year. Um, for grammar, he did first language lessons for the well-trained mind level three. So this is by the same company. And um, this we modified a little bit and um, to make it a little bit quicker. Like if he was getting a concept, um, I'm not gonna make him diagram 10 sentences if he gets it after three. So um, we did modify it a little bit, but it is super quick and um, it really has done its job. I mean, he's understanding grammar more. So we will probably stick with this because I do like this program. For spelling, I don't have anything to show you because we just bought the workbook and I had the binding cut off and they used the worksheets up. But we used um, spelling workout C. I'll insert a picture here. And um, we modified this a little bit. There were a couple exercises that I did not make him do. But other than that, he really loved spelling and I think got a lot out of it. And spelling is one of those things like you find what works and you do it because I mean, it doesn't really change. So, I mean, if you find a method that works, stick to it. And we like this method. It is worksheet heavy, but um, they're fun worksheets for my kids. So we like it. Um, and then for handwriting this year, instead of using any specific program, um, we've used writing without handwriting without tears before. We've used um, the prescripts before, but this year we just um, did a lot of copy work and some dictation and called it good and we loved it. Um, we used a lot of our scripture memory verses for our handwriting um, and that worked out great. It was definitely killing two words with one stone and that's probably what we'll do next year. Um, and then for <coughs> vocab, I also don't have anything to show you because he used um, Wordly wise three, and again, I cut the binding and he wrote on the worksheets. Um, but that I thought about letting go this next year, not because I don't love the program, because I feel like he definitely got a lot of new vocabulary out of that, um, but because I felt like it might be kind of unnecessary next year because of what we'll be switching to. They kind of have vocabulary um, incorporated. Um, but my son has said several times since his vocabulary book has been done that he misses vocab and wants to do it again. So I might just get it just because he wants to do it. Um, and then not stress if we don't get it all done, but he really likes it. So wordly wise three for the win. So for my first grader, um, we did phonics um, with teaching, Ordinary Parents Guide to Teaching Reading. Um, I cannot recommend this program enough. We love this. My kindergartner finished learning how to read on this. He started with Horizons and then we switched to this and liked this a lot better. Um, my first grader has been using this since kindergarten. It's a pretty thick book um, with lots of lessons and we just um, take little bites at a time and do it. Um, so that's why we actually haven't finished this yet, but he's a pretty fluent reader. Um, and he has only ever used this program. And so it looks like when you're flipping through it that it wouldn't be enough, but it most definitely is. It taught my kid to read. So um, we will just keep going through this because even though he can pretty much read anything, um, like toward the end, it gives you like real long words and kind of works on um, how to break those up and sound them out. So we will go ahead and finish that this summer. Um, and then for Vocabulary, he also used Wordly Wise. So for kindergarten and first grade, you actually do have um, a workbook and a teacher's guide. So that's what that looked like. And I didn't love this program, but I didn't hate it. Um, he enjoyed it, he thought it was fun. I thought it was, um, I don't know. I don't know what I didn't like about it. It was just, I think because it still took a lot um, from me. It wasn't a very independent thing. 
um, which isn't always bad, but um, I don't know. I think we'll still use this next year if he wants to, because like his brother, he really liked vocabulary for whatever reason. Um, but I think second grade, they will start going to more of that independent style and I'll like it a lot better again. And then for um, spelling, he used spelling workout um, level A. Again, we loved it. We modified it a little bit. There were a few exercises that I didn't make him do. Um, but other than that, he loved that worksheet style um, for spelling. And then same thing with handwriting. He did our scripture memory and um, wrote letters to people and stuff like that to get his handwriting in. And that's what we're going to do next year. It was easy and I loved it. Um, for extracurriculars, for memory, we used Claritas Publishing, Volume 4, and loved it. It kind of went along with our story of the world. Um, no complaints here. CD is great. The book is great. Um, if you do memory work, I highly recommend this program. If you like the idea of Classical Conversations memory work but don't want to start a community or be a part of a community, um, this is for you. It's really good. It's very similar but not linked to Classical Conversations so you don't feel like you're missing anything if you don't join the Classical Conversations community. Um, and then we did Song School Latin. Um, we're huge Song School Latin fans and the only thing I would say about this is um, they did start teaching more grammar in this than they did in the first book, um, which was to be expected. And they kind of just like, and I think they're just kind of trying to stick those memory pegs in there and they'll build on it later. But I felt like they kind of just like skimmed the surface and I, my adult brain was like, okay, like what, <laughs> you know, um, they didn't like go in depth. And so... That was probably intentional, but I felt like they didn't really get much out of the grammar portion other than um, getting a few of the chants for the endings of different like verbs and stuff. So I don't know. But other than that, we love this program um, and we're going to just kind of recap it next year. And I mentioned that in this video up there. Um, so if you're interested in that, then check that out. Um, and for uh, music, nature, and art. Um, we rotate those in six week cycles. If you are new here and have not heard me say that before, for music and art, we use these books. Um, again, these are not Christian based. You kind of have to skim them um, before you just read them aloud. Um, nothing like crude or anything, but just things you might want to talk about with your children first. Um, and we enjoyed those. Again, we just took those really loose. We read something, we watched a YouTube video, and we sometimes did a project, and that was it. Um, for nature, we just got outside and drew things, and we loved it. It was great. When we had questions, we looked them up and found answers, and who knew that learning could be so easy? Um, let's see, toward the beginning of the year, we did this. We ended this quite a while ago, so I kind of forgot about it, but um, apology is who am I and what am I doing here? It is the second in their, um, biblical series, biblical worldview series. We loved this. Um, I would eventually, I will eventually go back and do volume three. Um, we're just doing something different next year and this wasn't really going to fit in our schedule. So I love this program. If you want to teach your kids, um, a biblical worldview, this is where you should start. It's so good. And then... We also did, oh, here is the journal for that, the notebooking journal. Again, we just used one. Um, and I also got the coloring book for my first grader. And then we also did Horizons Health 3. And Horizons Health kindergarten and first grade were great. Second grade I didn't love so much and third grade I hated. So <laughs> we won't be doing any more of this. The only reason I didn't like it is it was more for a classroom setting, it seemed like, and there were so many things we couldn't do because it wasn't a classroom. It was two students, so we won't be doing that anymore. But that was really our only major like bomb for the year. Everything else um, went great, and a lot of it we'll be using again next year. Um, some of it we won't, and that's all right. But 
um, my third grader into the year great um, he's a better writer he has refound a love for math um, that he had kind of lost um, you know in third grade when things kind of got harder toward the beginning of third grade he was kind of upset that math was harder um, but once I once he just kind of conquered some of those like learning long division and some of those kind of hard things and realized that like it's good to learn those things and it feels good to um, kind of conquer that then I think he's kind of picked back up on loving math again um, and seeing that hard is not always bad and my first grader is a reading machine and that makes this mama's heart so happy um, he was not a struggling reader by any means, um, but he was a reluctant reader. Um, his brother has always, always, always loved reading. He will sit and read for hours. Um, and my second born just wasn't like that. And so it was kind of hard for me um, being a bookworm myself um, to see that. But as his confidence has grown, his love for reading has grown and seeing him um, get so excited that he conquered that chapter book that he's been wanting to read um, just really, makes me happy. So overall, the 2019-2020 school year was great. Um, COVID did put a, damp, a damper on a lot of things that we were wanting to do toward the end of the year. Um, but academically, I feel like it was a very successful year. And we are definitely looking forward to next school year, which for us will start in August. Um, so I thank you so much for watching. I know this is a bit of a long video, but if you hung in there, um, give me a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you next time.